Good morning. Now your daybreak news headlines here in Scotland. Scotland's waking up to another chilly start with more heavy snow expected in the north and with ice affecting most of the country. Transport Minister Keith Brown's urging commuters to heed police advice and plan ahead for this morning's rush hour. Edinburgh Airport was closed for much of yesterday as staff battled to keep runways clear as was Glasgow Airport. More than a thousand gritters have been out overnight clearing the main routes and keeping the motorways open. All schools are expected to be open this morning but parents are being urged to check local authority websites. A fatal accident inquiry into the deaths of two teenage girls who jumped off the Erskine Bridge gets underway later. Neve Laverty from Helensborough and Georgia Rowe from Hull died after leaping from the crossing in October 2009. They were both living at the Good Shepherd Centre in Bishopton. And the number of jobs available in Scotland is on the rise. The Bank of Scotland report shows employers in all sectors have reported a greater demand for staff. Travel news now and one lane is closed on the M77 southbound between Junction 3 Nitz Hill Road and Junction 4 Crookford Road. On the M8 eastbound, an accident's blocked one lane between Junction 14 Foot Market and Junction 13 Proven. In Edinburgh, ice is causing problems on the A8 between the Sheriff Hall Roundabout and Station Bray. And on the rail, ScotRail suspended scores of services, so please check before you travel. Time now for the weather forecast. A fine start to the day, but don't forget that extra layer to keep you smiling. Blistex Daily Lip Conditioner sponsors your local weather. Freezing fog patches are affecting much of the area this morning, but it will become a dry day with brighter sunny spells throughout. It will stay cold. Top temperatures 2 degrees Celsius. That's all for now. Time to hand you back to the guys in London. Bye-bye.